Okay, right guys, can I hear, can I get like a thesis in the comments about, <laughs> I just want to hear people talk about the Deku versus Garfield matchup. Someone draw. Deku versus Garfield, a match as old as time. Ever since their anime debut, these two have been at it with each other like a centuries old war. However, they can finally fight to the death in the world of Rivals of Ether. This iconic duo is one of the staple matchups, one that surely fans have been waiting for. As such, understanding what makes this matchup unique is important for any competitive player. Let's analyze each character and talk about their respective skills. However, before I get into that, Garfield and Deku is a very tough matchup. Mostly due to the fact that uh, both characters are currently banned in tournament. Uh, but if you do want to learn the matchup, allow me to recommend you a few characters that you should learn first. Garfield's developer has put out a few amazing characters recently, including the living pincushion Tomo and the date girl Callie. If Garfield's bombastic and aggressive playstyle interests you, I especially recommend Callie due to her satisfying combo roots and great damage. There's also Snom and Siren, tricky fighters who seem weak at first, but can set up devastating stage control to win. If you like Garfield, I'll promise you'll like these even more. Go give him a shot and tell Fungi what you think. If the idea of Funny Cat appeals to you, why not try Cat with a Gun? Or Goat with a Gun? Or Goat with a Ghost Gun? They all have powerful setups using their weapon that let them do crazy things, like launch strong hitboxes or zip around the stage. Deku has been known to be knowledgeable in many fighting styles and a master of deception, and in Rivals, it's no different. To hide his true power, he is taking on the fighting style of none other than Mario. Learning the Mario by Emerald Man 13 matchup first will help a long way. Speaking of Marios, if you like the funny Wahoo Man, why not check out Mario by Rice or 64 Mario? There's even Big Yoshi if you want that. If it's an anime brawler who punches good, you need to take a look at size characters, like Alex and Bat-Bat. Lastly, if you're just looking for something funny, Morshu and Joy-Con have you covered. I could talk for hours about cool characters, but I know what you're here for. Still, if you want to hear about more fun characters, subscribe and watch my other stuff. Without further ado, let's get into what you're here for, the Garfield vs. Deku matchup. Garfield by Fungi Wizard is already infamous as a competitive monster. Tearing up the early workshop weeklies, this ferocious feline is known for his ability to cause big damage and confirm into early stocks. Garfield's main gimmick is his signature technique throughout the series, his burning lasagna. The ranged version is available on neutral special and does a small amount of damage but causes burn and knockback. In a standstill match, this can close out stocks on its own. The melee version is on back air, and it's a pretty standard move, minus the burn effect it provides. However, this sets up for Garfield's other signature technique, Hunter's Instinct. Garfield performs a powerful claw swipe, stunning enemies and doing massive damage. You may have been wondering, why would Garfield waste perfectly good lasagna? However, this merely allows him to smell his prey better, drastically expanding the range of the attack if the opponent is covered in fresh lasagna. The stun of this move is enough to combo almost anything after, but the most popular confirm is his slow but powerful forward strong, Weekly Punchline. This newspaper thwack is pretty much guaranteed to kill. Garfield's present surprise is one of the best kill options in the game, as it's surprisingly fast and kills early. Super Garfield serves a similar purpose, but it kills much later and is primarily for recovery, so it is quite punishable. Pull the Rug may seem weak at first, as Garfield's worst strong, however the fact that it sends the opponent backwards makes it a fantastic mind game to throw them off. However, Garfield's strongest technique beats all of them, but I must warn you that there are anime spoilers ahead. Ready? Alright, at the end of the Garfield show anime, Nermal nearly killed Garfield's closest friend Pookie. This unlocked his final technique, Grief Form. If the opponent attacks Garfield while the Pookie counter is used, he enters this state. In this form, all of his movement is faster, and all of his attacks are stronger. 
Even the most powerful have fallen victim to this form, so it's important to be careful if you see it. That's enough Garfield for now. It's time to talk about Deku. If you're having trouble with a Garfield-Deku matchup, learning the Garfield-Mario matchup will help as well, due to Deku copying his fighting style. Deku is a fighter known for his speed and power, and in Rivals, it's no different. On the ground, Deku has some solid options. His Deku Rapid is a great tool to get people off of him. In addition, Deku Kick works wonders as an anti-air. His most important grounded attack is probably Detroit Smash, hitting hard and being his primary kill option. In the air, his options are even better. Deku Kick 2 is a great juggle tool, while New Hampshire Smash puts distance between you and the opponent. If the opponent is off stage, Manchester Smash is a strong that spikes the opponent, pretty much instantly securing a kill. What rounds off Deku's kit are the specials. Deku Fire lets him use a skill passed on to him from Todoroki, where he throws small green embers. This doesn't do much damage, but clashes with other projectiles and is rather spammable. Deku Flip lets him zoom around the air like All Might. It doesn't do any damage, but is ridiculously fast. This lets young Midoriya keep his distance to plan his strategy. Uh, Deku Mugging seems a bit out of character. I don't really think Deku would mug anybody, but they are the bad guys, so it's okay. Uh, this powerful strike causes Deku coins to fly out of the opponent and has massive knockback. This is the move that will secure your air kills. The most powerful and probably out of place technique Deku has is the Deku Gun. For this attack, Deku grows big and shoots his gun. While not as spammable as Deku Fire, this move is still pretty abusable and can often lead to kills on its own. Overall, Deku is a versatile fighter with lots of ways to secure kills. Now that we've introduced the fighters, what makes this matchup so interesting? Well, with how powerful both these combatants are, one small mess up can turn your advantage into your death. For example, whiffing a Deku Kick 2 leaves Garfield free to end you with present surprise. At the same time, a missed hunter's instinct is just a chance for Deku to pull out his gun. Another interesting part of this matchup is the projectile war. Burning lasagna will beat out Deku Gun in Fireball Wars, but Deku Fire, the king of fireballs, will beat Burning Lasagna. This lets Deku safely approach at longer ranges behind a wall of fireballs. However, be careful not to be predictable, or you'll face the Wrath of Grief form, where Garfield is pretty much guaranteed to kill you. However, with all of this, I think the matchup is still slightly in Deku's favor, and allow me to explain why. Both Garfield and Deku have terrible recoveries. However, Deku can exploit this weakness way more than Garfield can. Garfield's best ledge punish is probably pull the rug, creating a stage spike scenario that can often kill. However, a skilled opponent can often tech this. Deku, on the other hand, has both Deku Gun and Manchester Smash. Manchester Smash does not give Garfield even the chance to recover before sending him to the Abyss. Also, due to the fact that you cannot parry in the air, Garfield cannot gain invincibility to protect him from Deku Gun. And speaking of parries, Garfield's animations are much more readable, making it hard for Garfield to parry Deku. However, despite all this, Garfield has a lot of interesting tools in the matchup too. As previously mentioned, Burning Lasagna will beat out Raw Deku Gun, requiring Deku to play safer. Garfield can also spam Lasagna off stage. However, due to Deku Flip and Lasagna's higher kill percent, it isn't as potent as Deku Gun. So, how should both players play the matchup? For Garfield, it's important to play defensively. Avoid going off stage and rely on present surprise for early kills. Also, Fishing for Hunter's Instinct is a great way to get some early combos, and while risky, can even get some kill confirms. For Deku, you want to play more aggressively. Use Fireball to approach, and as soon as you're in, mash away at Garfield into a Deku Mugging or Detroit Smash to win. If Garfield goes off stage, New Hampshire Smash and Deku Gun both work wonders for ending stocks. Lastly, remember Garfield likes to jump, so Deku Kick is not a bad option either. So, that's my take on the Deku Garfield matchup. I hope this gave you a better insight on the matchup, as well as Rivals as a whole. If this inspired you to try out the game, I hope you stick around and check out all the cool stuff available. Until next time!